Jason, it's already past 10. Aren't you coming home yet? Sorry to bother if you're at work. Can you just at least tell me what time are you coming home? What the hell? If you know I'm at work, don't call me. I'm sorry. Can I at least know what time are you coming home? I'm doing overtime again. I don't know what time I'll be home, that's all. What? What is up with you today? What is it? Jason, you've been distant lately. Is that so? I think I'm normal, though. But you're acting weird. I know you've been busy with work, but you always come home so late. You always go somewhere when you're off work. Honestly, I really don't want to be at home. What do you mean? I get depressed when I'm home. What? Don't tell me you didn't notice anything. I don't understand why you're in such a bad mood. What is going on? Damn, you're so clueless. I get irritated when I see you lately. You're always complaining and so negative. Try to think about how I feel dealing with that. I apologize for making you feel that way. But you could at least cut me some slack. I'm pregnant and it's been hard for me physically and mentally. Cut you some slack? You're kidding me, right? You're pregnant. You're not dying. Also, you've been slacking on house chores lately. I'm always tired working every day. And then you're just at home relaxing. I'm doing the bare minimum. I cook, I clean, I do the laundry. You're saying I can't even take a break? If you have time to rest, that means you're slacking. Oh, how lucky to be a woman. You don't have to work. You just get to chill at home. Stop saying I'm slacking. Also, the other day, I was diagnosed with preterm labor. The doctor told me to rest as much as possible. I need to rest so that I can have the baby safely. But the side effects of the prescribed medication are severe, making it difficult for me to move. I don't give a shit. I've never taken any kind of medication. How would I know? You're the one who wanted to have a baby in the first place. Why don't you toughen up a little bit and deal with it? That's cold. Don't you think you should take care of your wife a little? You said you wanted kids too, remember? Did I? That was too long ago. I don't remember saying that. Yeah, well... You know what? You're getting supported by me, yet you're acting way too entitled. You can't even take good care of me. You're a failure as a wife. Supporting me? I'm just taking the time off because I'm pregnant, but I'm working too. Work? It's like playing around for you. No, it's not. I have a full-time job with a lot of responsibility. Compared to what I do, that's nothing. You know what? I'm the next president of the company. I'm not like you who's just an ordinary employee. It's not like you're the president yet. It's already been decided. I'm the president's eldest son. Hmm. If you use pregnancy as an excuse to skip housework, I'm willing to leave you. Oh no. If you don't want that, stop complaining. And don't be all up in my business all the time. Okay. I'll go to dinner today and go home after. What? You're not going to be home for dinner? I told you, I don't want to be home as much as possible. But I made you dinner. You can have the leftovers for breakfast. You could have given me a heads up. I'm in pain, and yet I tried to do my best to make it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you don't need to act like you're doing all that. Why are you being so mean? Shut up. You're getting on my nerves. I'm gonna end this now. Wait a minute. Bye. Jason! Amy, before you ask, I'll be home late today and I don't need dinner. Also, I might have to stay all night in the office, so don't wait for me. 
Jason, you're working late again? Yes, I am. Really? What? You're hiding something, aren't you? What do you mean? Ever since I got pregnant, you've been acting weird. When we were first married, you were nicer to me. You always leave work on time. Damn it. You're talking about that again. I told you to stay out of my business. I understand that being the next candidate for the president of the company is a lot of work. But I've been worried. We're about to have a baby. You've been extremely cold lately. Didn't I tell you yesterday about this? Your attitude annoys me. I'm feeding you and you're just at home relaxing while I'm at work. Is that really all? Oh God, you're doing too much. Okay, listen. I'll tell you the truth. I'm in love with someone. What? You're in love with someone? Someone you know very well. Who? Michelle. Michelle? My sister? Yes, we're dating. What the hell? Wait a minute. I've had a feeling that you're cheating on me. I've been right this whole time. What? So you did notice. But I didn't think it was going to be my sister. I can't believe it. I can't believe you cheated on me with my sister. Just for the record, Michelle was the one who was hitting on me. <laughs> we bumped into each other at the station after work. We talked about going for a drink. I don't know if she was drunk, but she started seducing me. <laughs> I've been sexually frustrated and stressed lately too. Well, I think you can tell what happened next. <laughs> I see. I mean, she's beautiful. It's honestly hard to believe that you two are sisters. She's so stylish and she's like a model too. She's cheerful and also a savage. <laughs> you, on the other hand, are a whiny, dark-skinned, ugly bitch. And you're fat like a pig. I can't even look at you as a woman anymore. What a terrible thing to say. I'm pregnant. Calling me a pig was so unnecessary. It's a fact. <laughs> I don't want to go home and see you laying all day like a pig. You've been lying about working late because you've been seeing my sister? Yep. I want to be with Michelle. What? What do you mean? It means exactly what it means. I'm divorcing you and I'll marry Michelle. No way. We just got married last year and we're about to have a baby. I'm sorry, but you'll have to raise the baby by yourself. That's absurd. I'm staying at Michelle's place tonight. Actually, I might just stay there for a while. I'll just come pick up my stuff when I can. Wait a minute. Just give up. Wait, don't decide things on your own. You and the baby can stay in the house. See ya. Hey, Amy. It's been a while. How have you been? Michelle. Oh yeah, you're pregnant, right? How has it been for you? When is the due date? You're such a bitch. What? You stole my husband. How can you just casually text me like nothing happened? Oh, I see you've heard from Jason. Are you serious about marrying him? Actually, I wasn't sure about it either. I felt bad for taking him away from you, but Jason can't seem to leave me alone. When did you start seeing him? About six months ago. What? That's when we found out I was pregnant. Let me tell you something. It's your fault, too. You've been having your morning sickness, so you rarely have time for Jason. He was lonely. That's why he wanted me to comfort him. Hmm. Also, you've been gaining a lot of weight lately. You're getting more uglier because of that. No wonder Jason didn't want to be with you. 
It's not that I gained weight. I'm pregnant, so my figure has changed. Whatever the reason, it doesn't change the fact that you're fat. <laughs> Men like beautiful women. I see. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for taking your husband away from you. But I don't want to miss my chance either. He's the next company president. I'm more suitable for the boss's wife than a dull, ugly girl like you, right? I know it's hard for you, but I'll be happy for you too. So please forgive me. <laughs> Jason, I just came back from my checkup and all your stuff was gone. Oh, I moved in with Michelle. I'm done with you. You really want a divorce, huh? I've told you about that, didn't I? I can't see you as a woman anymore. Okay, I get it. Whoa, you're surprisingly understanding. Why would I stay with someone who doesn't even want to be with me? That's miserable. I see, but you should be grateful you were even married to me. I also gave you a child. If I knew you were going to be like this... I shouldn't have married you in the first place. I didn't think you were this kind of woman either. You were skinny before we got married, but now you're ugly, fat, and you skip chores. I seriously regret getting married to you. I'm so glad we're breaking up. Okay, let me ask you one last time. Are you sure you want to leave? You're persistent. Let's just get this over with. I'm going to seek alimony from you, okay? And child support, too. I understand. I'll pay you as much money as you want. Then I won't say anything else. So long, and don't get involved with me anymore. Amy, it's been a while. I need to talk to you. Do you have a minute? Jason? Oh, that was fast. You didn't block me. You're still hung up on me, huh? Hell no. I just happened to forget to block you. So, what do you want now? Yeah, actually, Michelle and I had a baby. Our family has expanded and it's making our current home feel cramped. We've been living in the apartment Michelle used to live in. But once the baby was born, it felt incredibly small. We don't have enough space for the baby's crib. Uh, okay. Hey, don't you get it? What? I'm telling you our place is too small. Yeah, and how is that my problem? Stop acting dumb. Give us the house you're living in right now. What? Why would I do that? Don't talk nonsense. Listen, it's not yours. You've been living in that house all this time. Thanks to my generosity, right? How long do you plan to keep squatting in my house? Get out of my house now. Um, I'm a little confused all of a sudden. What are you really talking about? Don't be a bitch and just get out. I've given you a grace period for two whole years. If you don't leave soon, I'll come directly and kick you out myself. I don't know why you're asking me to leave now. Didn't you say before that it's okay for me to live in this house? You forgot about that? Michelle wasn't pregnant back then. But now, the three of us are cramped up in a small apartment. That place was originally mine. So hurry up, pack your things and leave. I think you're misunderstanding something. What? This house is under my name. What? Oh, you didn't know until now? The title deed of this house is in my name, so it's not your house. Huh? You're lying. What are you talking about? That can't be true. I paid half of it when we built it. I'm the man of this family, so I'm the one who's in charge. The man of this family. You're joking, right? <laughs> I'm being serious. The man who left his pregnant wife for her sister right after getting married. That's a funny joke. It's not a joke. I'm the one who's been taking care of you. 
Don't ever talk to me like that. Let me remind you something, because it seems like you forgot. When we built this house, we did agree to contribute half of the funds each. I know. But you couldn't pay it, because you didn't have enough savings. That's true. I couldn't afford it that time. Do you remember that I covered it at that time and paid the full amount? Did you? I paid the entire amount. Of course it would be in my name. But, yes, I remember now. After that, you know, my parents paid half of it instead of me. Yes, that's true. But didn't your father lend you the money? So that means it's his share. You haven't paid him back yet, right? Uh, what about it? Michelle is pregnant and we need the money. Well, either way, this house is under my name, so get over it. It doesn't matter. Give me the house already. You know what? Why do you want to live here? Aren't you the next president or something? You could easily rent or buy a new house anytime. I can't. That's why I'm reaching out to you. Huh? Actually, I'm... I'm unemployed right now. Oh, I see. Shit. This isn't what I planned. My father got mad when I told him I was marrying Michelle. He said I'm not fit to be the president and removed me as the next president. Plus, he also found out that I was dating Michelle during work hours. He made me quit the company the other day. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. That's why I'm asking you to give up your house. I don't want to. Why not? Why not? Because this is my house. You're seriously going to let us be homeless? Huh? It looks like we'll be kicked out of our apartment soon. Michelle quit her job when she got pregnant. Now we both have no income and can't pay the rent. We used both our savings to pay your alimony. We don't have anything left. Are you stupid? What the hell? Before you become homeless, why don't you find a job and earn money? You're a father, right? But I'm the CEO's son. Working part-time jobs is too uncool for me. Well, you have no choice but to be homeless with your family then. You've got to be kidding me. Don't you feel bad? You've got balls to say that, huh? You abandoned me the moment I got pregnant. You chose your own pleasure over your family. It's not just me you abandoned. You abandoned your own child too. I will never forgive you for that. Why did you even think I would help you? Can you call yourself a mother? I have a little child on my own. Why don't you help us a little? I do feel sorry for your child. So then... But that doesn't mean I should hand over my house to you. I'm doing my best to protect my child. I've decided I'm going to live my life to protect her. What do you want us to do now? I don't know. I made sure to confirm it first, didn't I? Whether it was really okay to break up. You said it yourself that it's okay. You're a grown man. Take accountability for your actions. Okay, I get it. What? You're still single, right? You never remarried, did you? What do you mean? You want your kid to have a father. I'll remarry you. Huh? What about my sister? She and I will get a divorce. You're going to abandon them like what you did to us? What do you want me to do? I'm tired of her. Tired? You dumped me because she was way better looking than me, right? You even called me ugly and fat. What are you talking about now? But see, Michelle got fat when she got pregnant. She looks way different than before. She's not a pig, but more like a sea lion. To be honest, Michelle is not attractive as a woman anymore. She doesn't work and doesn't have financial stability. In that case, getting back together with you, who has both a job and a house, that would make me happy. And you wouldn't have to raise a child by yourself. 
It's a win-win, right? You're an asshole. Hey, let's forget about the past. Let's get back together. Are you kidding me? A child needs a father. It's better not to have you around. A father who has no sense of responsibility. Huh? Wait a minute. Don't ever contact me again. Wait a minute. What am I supposed to do now? I told you you're on your own. I need you. I don't need you, so I'm blocking you. Hey. Bye. Amy, wait. <laughs> Jason and his family got evicted. They moved into my parents' house. However, my parents couldn't forgive what my sister has done. They got kicked out right away. Now, Jason begged his parents to move in, but all they do is fight every day. Jason regrets all his actions. He said if he only knew all this would happen, he shouldn't have cheated. But it's too late for that. Even in such situation, Jason is working desperately to pay his parents back and pay child support. He's working part-time jobs to pay off his debt. I bumped into him the other day. He seemed totally drained, like a zombie or something. I ignored him. As for me, I am living a peaceful life with my child. Back to working full-time with my parents' help. I hope to continue doing my best for the happiness of myself and my family in the future. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.